Hey everybody, I'm incredibly thrilled about this video and today we're gonna add business logic for our workout diary application and exactly we will implement creating showing our workout sessions. And yeah, stock up on tea or coffee and let's make it real. We will use a temporary state that the use state hook provides. If you don't know about the hook, you should click on the link on the screen. By temporary state, I mean the state that disappears after we will refresh our page. And by the way, we will use local storage as permanent state. By permanent state, I mean the state where data saved. For instance, if we even refresh our page or close browser or reboot PC, it will still work. So, now you can see our workout sessions load from our state and I think it's great. Also, we need to assign a unique key prop for each workout item to help React identify the items when they change and then rebuild our list. To generate random identificator, I'll use a simple hand written function for this purpose. We have to create a handler in app component for our create workout form and pass it down to the form as prop, I mean, pass our handler down. Let's create on submit handler that will invoke the app component handler to create a new workout session in our list. We'll use a form tag and currently we can remove the block and replace it by form tag. Also, I think, don't forget to add the appropriate class that it was before. What about to add name attributes for our inputs and get their values from event target elements property? And I think it's even handier than UTREF or controlled inputs. More specifically, in our case it's handy, but in another it can be inconvenient. To add a new workout session in our state, we will copy the entire state with spread operator and create a simple object with unique data. ID function help us to do this. And then we have to push our new workout item to the state copy and then change our main state passing our state copy. I think it may be a little bit confusing, but it's why you should try practice on your own. Also, I'll give you kind of homework in the end of the bunch of tutorials. It will be very useful to hone your skills. I think to make a straightforward validation is not redundant, it's always useful. Also, we should apply new style for record items to make it easy to read. Exactly, we need to make a fixed width and alignment for our red cross button and each item inside of workout item.
we need to predict that our user will able to add a few workout sessions in a row. To solve this problem, we need to reset our inputs after we will add a new workout session. Today's tutorial came to the end and I also recommend you to watch a playlist about React hooks to be aware of it. And remember, I always take constructive criticism with positive emotions and probably I almost perceive everything as positive. I appreciate your feedback in the comments below. Have a good one, take care.